This is another joyful topic. And we're talking about things that are delicious and nutritious when we're talking about a healthy eating pattern. I love talking about nutrition because I like to encourage people, again, to view this as something joyful and an experiment and something exciting. How can I reach the guidelines? What are the guidelines? What is a template for how I want to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner? So Walter Willett at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health has done a lot of research and he's come up with a template of a plate for you. Half of that plate is fruit and vegetable. A quarter of the plate is whole grain and a quarter of the plate is healthy protein. Plants would be wonderful. Nuts, seeds, legumes in that healthy protein quarter. Let's start by talking about the half of the plate, the fruits and vegetables. So the guidelines are to get at least five servings of fruit and vegetable. Okay, why is this? Why is there such an emphasis on fruit and vegetable servings? It's because that's where the data is. I know probably your grandma and ma, everyone said, have your vegetables, have your spinach, all that. Well, that's true and so is the data. So for example, multiple studies have shown if you increase your intake of fruits and vegetables, you can reduce your risk of our number one killer, cardiovascular disease. Specifically, people who are consuming five servings of fruit and vegetable a day compared to those who are consuming three servings of fruit and vegetable a day. Those that have five have a 20% less likelihood of cardiovascular disease. There's two really important things I wanna cover about fruits and vegetables. One is the fact that they have fiber. Now, we don't consume enough fiber as a nation. In fact, globally, the WHO has recommendations that we consume 25 to 29 grams of fiber a day, and we're not reaching that. We need this because that amount of fiber can reduce the risk of diabetes, of heart disease, of obesity. Now, what is it about fiber that's so special that we can get from fruits and vegetables and whole grains? It's that, the microbiome you've heard so much about, it ferments the fiber, the bacteria in our guts ferment fiber. What does that do? It creates short chain fatty acids like acetate, butyrate, propionate. What do these short chain fatty acids do? Well, they impact our metabolism. They impact cell proliferation and immunity. So by consuming these fruits and vegetables and whole grains as fiber, we're doing our body good. It's important. The other thing about fruits and vegetables is that they have flavonoids. These are important antioxidants. There's a lot of research around the power of antioxidants. I want to share with you a recent study on flavonoids where middle-aged adults were followed for 20 years and those that had the highest intake of flavonoids and antioxidants had a reduction in memory problems by 19% compared to those that weren't consuming the flavonoids. So where can you get flavonoids? I'll give you a list. Strawberries, blueberries, apples, oranges, grapefruits, bananas, peppers, and celery. There's a whole lot more too, but you can focus on those and those are delicious and nutritious. We talked about flavonoids and antioxidants and I must go back to that quarter of the plate that is healthy protein. I mentioned nuts, seeds, legumes, and guess what? Nuts, like almonds and walnuts, have been shown to reduce our risk of our number one killer, cardiovascular disease. There's research that actually shows you the power of these little almonds and their antioxidant capacity. In one study looking at 60 male smokers, it was noted that those that consumed three ounces of almonds per day, how much is that? It's about 24 almonds three times a day. That would be about three ounces in the day. Those that did that decreased their oxidative stress by about 24 to 31% over the course of four weeks. 
So almonds are delicious. They're also medicine. Many people are fatigued, and that can be due to a low magnesium level. Guess what food has magnesium? Almonds. So these little oval almonds are pretty powerful. So now you know the template from the Harvard Healthy Plate, and you know the value and importance of fruits and vegetables, whole grains for the fiber, and then protein. What are you going to do to get this in during your busy work day? Well, one thing is preparation and planning. So on Sundays or sometime during the weekend, you can make it a family activity and you can create new meals. Now, make an excessive amount so that you can freeze them in proportions that would be appropriate for your lunch. Then you can take them in, hopefully you have a refrigerator where you can store it, or a, fr a freezer bag that you could keep it in for your lunch. So you're actually saving time and money this way and you're controlling your meals so that they can be just like the Harvard Healthy Plate. Another option and aspect of this healthy eating is snacking. So if you can prepare some healthy snacks and bring them into work, you are going to be in a good position for staying satiated all day. What we don't want is the ups and downs of blood sugar. So what we wanna do is eat our meals, and have a constant stream of blood sugar throughout the day. If you do miss a meal or you're getting close to the dinner meal and it's about four o'clock and you're feeling that low blood sugar, having a healthy snack will be key. What's that look like? You could make your own trail mix with walnuts and almonds and some dark chocolate, delicious. You could also bring in apple and peanut butter or almond butter. You could have celery and hummus or carrots and hummus. You could bring in a packet of oatmeal and put some cinnamon on it. Very simple. It would be great to have oatmeal with almond and some fruit in it, but that may be more difficult when you're at work. Depends. Lastly, if you can't do any of these, you could get some of these healthy bars that are unprocessed or less processed, should we say, where they only have three ingredients or so, and they make it very clear what the ingredients are in these bars. And if you could just have one of those bars, that would be great. But we're really trying to eat whole foods, unprocessed foods. And the WHO recommends that we get 25 to 29 grams of fiber each day. This is important because studies show that this amount of fiber can help reduce heart disease, diabetes, colon cancer, and stroke.